Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Weekly Bites. It's November 29th and boy do I have a story for you. Before we get started, this isn't my first time recording this episode. Stupidly, I recorded the entire episode, removed the SD card, started copying the video file to my computer, and then realized that I didn't have the green screen on the TV, which meant I had to re-record this entire episode. So let's get started. Android Auto is getting a bit of a facelift. They are updating the message preview, so text message and, um, and others, and also the music screens. If you have the opportunity to update Android Auto in your car, by all means, I think it, it's worthwhile. Battery's running low. Oh well. The Galaxy S10 Plus. We get some new information about it. Months in advance of its release, we now have rumors that it's going to sport 12 gigabytes of RAM, which is massive. 12 gigs is, let's say, a 50% increase on the current maximum RAM size in a cell phone. If that's not enough, it's rumored to get one terabyte of on-device storage for all you photo lovers and videographers who use your cell phone and want to store everything locally. In other cell phone news, the iPhone is making its debut on the Google Fi network. Not Project Fi. Fi has now officially grown up and is no longer a project. That's right, people. Google decided that they're going to commit to this finally. For those of you who don't know what Fi is, Fi is a virtual carrier that uses multiple physical, physical carriers networks in order to provide the best possible service no matter where you are. Samsung announced a new line of SSDs called the 860 QVO, a play on the Evo name, but the Q stands for QLC memory. Not a fan of QLC SSDs right now, but you can't beat their price point. Starting at one terabyte having and going all the way up to four terabyte drives, the entry price point is going to be $150, which is pretty amazing for a one terabyte SSD. Worth considering, definitely not something if you're going to be reading and writing large files on a regular basis. Yesterday, Amazon announced a brand new line of computer processing units. Yes, they launched their Graviton CPUs, their ARM-based processors that are going to be used in AWS instead of AMD or Intel counterparts. Is Amazon gonna start making hardware for everything now? Are they gonna replace Intel and AMD throughout their AWS data centers? Probably not. And lastly, yesterday DJI announced a brand new handheld gimbal camera called the Osmo Pocket. It sports 4K 60 frames per second recording, a more than two hour battery life, an on gimbal LCD display, sounds weird to say that, but anyways. Maybe its worst feature though is its price point at 350 US dollars. I hope you guys all enjoyed the news. We're gonna see you tomorrow again for another segment to cover the last couple of days. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, leave us a comment, ask your questions below. If you didn't like this video, give us a thumbs down, but also tell us what we could have improved so that next time we do better. Have a great day, guys, and we'll see you all tomorrow.